are going to see it on static of course first, but you can do it on both statics or spinning mode. Let's go! I am front of the pole. I put both arms quite high in order to do a pull up and to go to sit on the pole. Here, cross legs, touch the pelvis against the pole. If you stay square, you are not going to stay on the pole. You need to push with your hips up with the upper leg. Here, I, if I stay square, I'm here, I slide. If I close my leg and push my hips against the pole, it's going to be good and safe. If you want, you can put your feet, the down feet, behind the pole, but I don't like it because I can't do it. <laughs> so here, I have my, as I have my right leg on the other, I will put my arm up, my right arm, and go front. My bust is going front. Here, I will touch the pole with my underarm in order to have a contact point. Go up with your head and open both arms. I really know that it is painful at the beginning because you don't have the habits to squeezing the pole with your inner tight and it's really, really painful for the skin. But be patient with the practice. You will don't feel this pain anymore. If you don't have the strength to do a pull-up, you just have to push really high with your foot, with your feet, and go up and try just to be stabilized in your shoulder in order to cross legs without doing a pull-up. Okay, so once again, I touch the ball with the pelvis, squeeze inner tight, and cross, push with your hips, go front to the pole, Go down with upper arm and touch the pole. Go up with your bust in order to keep the contact point. Of course, you can do it on spinning, just with a little momentum added at the beginning. Let's go, it's your turn. Down to the river.